When you're afraid, there's a sense of gloom and doom that comes upon you. Part of these sensations that you experience, for example, kind of the tightness of the gut and the fact that your heart is pounding, you may feel the sweat coming down. These are secondary. These are part of what gives rise to the conscious experience of fear, but they are not fear itself. Fear is an emotional experience that you have when you encounter danger. For example, a snake is an, uh, an innate fear stimulus. You come across a snake and you will stop dead in your tracks, your heart will race, and you'll feel fear. Uh, and the visual system will take it to the amygdala. And one of its jobs is to detect that threat and then to orchestrate responses in the brain and in the body to deal with that threat. Hormones are released into the body and the purpose of these is to sort of rev the body up and prepare it for this kind of uh, uh, dangerous situation that you're about to be involved with. Included are hormones like adrenaline and noradrenaline and cortisol. These are commonly known as so-called stress hormones. Their job is not to stress you out, uh, but instead is to help you cope with stress. These physiological functions are part of the, the kind of uh, ecology of the body. So when you um, feel chill when you're afraid, it's because blood has been moved from your skin into your muscles. Because you have to have blood and therefore energy in your muscles in order to freeze, flee, fight, and so forth. And that blood has to come from somewhere. So blood is redistributed from the skin to the muscles. And as a result, you feel cold because you don't have the blood to warm your skin. Um, so there's a logic to, to how all this is working.